Hello everyone, Will again here. I hope you all had a really happy new year and a good Christmas and you are all COVID free too. Unfortunately, a lot of you who watch the channel know me and my girlfriend Soph, we contracted COVID over Christmas so it wasn't ideal. We had it to ourselves but thankfully we're back fit and ready and we are doing the sheep again today as you can see behind me. So the plan today, we are hectovacking all the ewes so they're in two groups we've got the singles here we've got the twins and triplets separated because they're on slightly different diets and we're going to get them vaccinated so that's the plan we're also trialing a cool new synchro gun for vaccinating we've got ellie helping it's pretty cold so we need to get moving and get these done really hope you enjoy it guys if you do please tap that like button you want to see more videos just like this one subscribe to the channel and we'll crack on and get it done won't we Right guys, so I'm going to attempt to do this while we walk them in, but in this group here we've got the singles and barons. For those of you who don't know, a baron is a ewe without any lambs. So these are still separated off just because they don't need as much feed as the twins and triplets. So basically all the singles are going to get vaccinated. The barons we're actually going to split off. Come on girls. Go on girls, go on. And yeah, that is what we're doing. Um, there's also a few ewe lambs in here, which are the smaller ones. But in general, they're looking pretty good, aren't they? Go on, girls, go on. Go, girls, go on. Good girls, good girls, good girls. Here you go, here you go. Go, girls. Good girls, good girls. The only annoying thing with this pen is the gate opens the wrong way. You can't pull the gate this way, so apart from that, they're in. Let's get to it. Go, girls. Right, Al, you just hold them there and I'll pull all these hurdles off and we'll swing it round. Don't land past you. There we go, this should make things easier. Right guys, so that is all the singles and barons in and what I'm going to do now is talk about what we are actually doing and that is heptavac peeing, vaccinating the use. So if you look on that, you see it's a peach coloured vaccine, they get two mil of this each and this is actually the use booster and this vaccine goes into the colostrum that goes into the lamb, so it gives the lamb a little bit of immunity too. So basically in here we have seven diseases that it vaccinates for and I'll just go to my phone because I can't remember them off the top of my head and they are... Uh, where are they? Dysentery, pulpy kidney, struck, tetanus, braxy, black leg, and black disease. So this vaccine is basically stopping these ewes and their lambs from getting these diseases. So that is basically what the heptavac is and what we're doing today. But the even cooler thing about today, we are trialing a brand new product from Synchro. So here we have the brand new gun from Synchro. So this is called a VS injector. This is really different to any guns that you've probably used before. And it actually can be used tube fed and bottle mounted. So this one's set up to be tube fed. Um, really cool because it has a needle guard like this. So you do that, but you can't actually pull the trigger unless it's fully in like that. Obviously there's no needle in there, else I'd be injecting myself. But this actually comes off. So if you don't like needle guards like myself, you just point into lock mode as you can see there's a padlock there pull it um, to lock just like that and you pull up the front off like that and then if you want to you can put this on which is called a non-needle guard which you should slip onto the front like that so you don't need to use the needle guard and as you can see this one is actually designed for a pipe but then this gun is actually really cool because if you take the front back off just like this just like that you can actually remove this and make it into a bottle mounted gun so if I just take that off now, that just slides off like that, so it goes into all little kinds of pieces. Then if I grab the bottom out, which is just down here, so now I've got this, it literally just slides onto the end of there, just like so. 
and it goes back on the gun really simply and then you've got a bottle mounted gun too for those people that use like tube fed and bottle mounted this is really cool never seen any gun like this on the market so really cool and send it out and for me to trial the only thing is it is a fixed dose gun so you can't adjust the dose this one's obviously two mil as that's what you use for heptavac but what we're going to use today guys is the non-needle guard pop it on like this fairly simple really easy grab the bottle of heptavac so that's bottle of heptavac literally slide it into the bottle just like this push it on and it's clicked into place and you're ready to go right guys so what i'm going to do now is show you how i vaccinate the use so base is pretty simple what i want to do this is going in the use neck so if ellie just pans onto here you just pinch the skin on the neck you might not be able to see because she's woolly so you pinch it pop the hep to back in squeeze and that's a vaccinated fairly simple and we just mark the head with green so i know it's just done and we go on to the next shoe and they're all getting two mil pull them down and out Come on, Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Searching for my highs I can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Right, so that is all the singles finished there, all over there, gone back in the field, and we've separated the barons out there. I am very impressed with this injector, I'm not gonna lie. It just gets all the air out of it. You know, like some of them, they had problems. Because the barrel, if you can see there, is the other way around. Somehow that means that the air doesn't get in it and you don't have any half doses. We have to go With that, it's perfect. Like, really impressed, not gonna lie. But yeah, we're gonna put the barons back in a different field to the separate now. Single's gonna stay in here. Now we're gonna go and get the twins and triplets in. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down in that is actually the best i think we've ever put the sheep in we had the drone going we had the truck going we had ellie going and it went in in one go really easily we busted so come on girls let's go in only a hundred of these to go so we've done about a third of the sheep actually probably a better idea to make this pen a little smaller first ellie, you walk around these come on girls let's get a group of you in the trick is we use always get a few in and then the rest to follow. You're always ready for a scratch, aren't you? Two, three, four. Hey. Ellie! More working, less scratching. 
These are definitely a bit rounder than those twin so singles. Definitely a little rounder. Right guys, so that is about two thirds of the way through. One thing I did forget to say about the singles group is unfortunately, I think I've had a you that slipped to lamb. These are all vaccinated for toxo and enzo, so it shouldn't be that, she might have been knocked. She might not have slipped it, but if I can find it here, uh, where is she? This one here, you might be able to see, she's got a bit of a bloody pop. So I think she's quite possibly slipped to lamb, which isn't ideal. So put her in with the barons because they shouldn't be pregnant. Keep her away from the singles. Try and isolate her. We will go and get some um, samples off her in a bit to take to the vet. So that is the plan. We'll carry with these. And then these barons are going in a separate field for that exact reason. So just keep pushing these up. Nearly done. Come on, girls. But yeah, it's going fairly smoothly. Trying this new gun too. Really impressed. As I said before, onto these. These are a lot bigger too. One thing I said in the last video when we looked at the sheep, obviously that was before we isolated, so like two weeks ago, these were getting fairly fit and feeling them now, they're still fit enough. We just don't want to underfeed them because obviously the last seven weeks, the trimester before the lamb, it's the most important bit for growing the lamb. Yeah. So these are fit enough, but they'll be on corn soon. They're literally getting corn this week. Well, not too heavily because they're in decent condition. They're on haylage already. The singles are still just on grass. They should be fine for that. But these just get a little bit of haylage because there's a lot of moisture in the grass. There's not that much goodness. Still need to grow the lambs. Even though they're really fit, they still do need to grow the lambs. It's really important. I'll shut up now. We'll finish this job off. Ellie keeps pushing up. Doing a smashing job today, aren't you, Elle? Even though she's freezing cold. Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know if Right, we're on to the final group of the day guys We've actually got the quad in here so that's all in two spots Come on guys You all gonna fit? I don't think you are, we'll do you in two batches Right, you're going to... Go on, guys. Go on, guys. Right. Elle, please, you shoot me the gun. Uh, I'm so organised. The gun there, please. So you got in the pen? Yes, I got in the pen without the gun. Thing, you got in the pen yeah, before. I went over there to grab the gun, grab the camera. And got, I can't... Just come around, please. Thank you. By the way, guys, if any of you are after a llama, when do you all go llamming? Second week of April, that kind of time. Ellie is looking for lambing work then, so anyone there? Just thought I'd help you out. Two weeks. For two weeks. Anyone that can help, please send me a message. We're in the Midlands, so possibly we go anywhere in the UK. I'd go anywhere as long as there's accommodation. Yeah, as long as there's accommodation, she's fine. You may have passed your test by then. Possibly, she might be able to drive too, so we'll see. Right, we'll get these, I'll pass you the camera. Thank you, we'll get these last ones injected. We've actually had a swap, we're trying the needle guard now. I actually prefer the non-needle guard, but that's me. I just like to be able to see it. It's just, it's a feel thing, and I just prefer the feel. As we all like a good feel, don't we? What I'm doing when I'm pinching the skin, because this is a subcutaneous injection, you want it to go under the skin, not into the muscle. So what I'm doing there is pinching the muscle, sorry, pinch in the wall so when I inject it goes under the skin like this just like that that's under the skin oh that's not so under the skin that's bent the needle right <laughs> let's swap the needle quick right <laughs> right take number two we we're actually trialing some different needles and so maybe we won't be buying these again because I've never had that happen before but yes you pinch the wall just like so press under the skin and inject that one worked. Same again for this one, we'll just show it again. Pinch under the skin. And the reason you do that is because you want the vaccine to go around the whole body and not just into its muscle. So, fairly simple, let these go and then there's about half a dozen left. Something like that. Right, 
Last six. Last two. Last one. Good kill. So good. And she's done. And we're done for today, guys. Off you go, girls. Off you go. Come on. Come on. Right guys, so we're just shunting these twins and triplets back in the field they were from. I don't know if it's smart or clever, but I've left Ellie in charge of the truck, so she's just driving along over there while I walk across the field because we don't want to drive across this field as it's not the driest. And these years are going back fairly well. We got the singles over in there, but the barons are coming in here just to keep separate as we explained earlier, but it's getting really exciting. Lamin will be here soon just five weeks until lambing now these are going to come inside in the next week too so that is another video coming up we just got to clear the shed so you know what it's like same thing every year a little bit different but need to get these in and then we're basically done so really hope you enjoyed it today guys um really cool to try out that simcro injector too ellie's b for me you're right yeah. right so but yeah guys massive thank you for watching if you did enjoy it please tap that like button. If you want to see more videos just like this one on the farm, please subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate all you guys that subscribe. The channel continues to grow and it's all down to you guys. It's a new year, really exciting, and it's going to be a cracking one. So massive thank you guys. I'll see you soon.